This episode of Soldier Knows Best is brought to you by GoToMeeting. Hey, what's up guys, Soldier Knows Best here. It is time for another Ask Soldier video when I'm gonna be answering questions from you guys, the audience. And so if you wanna make the next video, leave a comment down below with a question or anything you wanna ask me, gonna leave that comment down below. But it's gonna kick things off with the first question coming from Technotorials, and they ask, hey Soldier, what do you think of my channel? He meant to say of there. Uh, do you have any tips for me? Well, Technotorials, let me go ahead and load up your channel here. And I did take a look at your channel beforehand. And I do say, I do like your overall theme of it. At least you do have a background for it. So you did take some time to, to kind of customize it there a little bit uh, but the one thing I did notice here as, as I'm going to go to one of your videos here is that uh, you may need to get a definitely a, a better camera because your angle here as I show you you can see this this iPhone 4s you're doing the iPhone 4s unboxing here the box just looks really fat uh, so you do need to upgrade your camera the, the best you can and now you can probably even still use the iPhone 4s camera if you wanted to that'll probably be better than the camera that you're using right now and the next question comes from Legends Never Die, and they asked me, hey, SKB, what do you think the next iMac will be released, and what will be the new features? Well, I think we'll see the new iMacs, plus a whole bunch of other new Macs as well at WWDC this year. I did a video not too long ago. I'll put it on the side of me here. You can click that, and it'll take you to that video. But anyway, I think we'll see the new iMacs at WWDC, which goes down in early June. And some of the features it could have, definitely will probably have the new Intel Ivy Bridge processor chipsets there. Um, then also, too, it could possibly have a retina display. Yes, a retina display in an iMac has been rumored. We're not too sure about that. That though uh, but also too again i just think mostly the internals will be updated i don't think we'll see a new design but that is possible but again most of the insides will be updated for this next imac refresh and moving on the next question is how will the next xbox controller be this comes from f35 abc if you remember that, that's from the Three Stooges. You are awesome. But anyway, I digress. Um, how would the next Xbox controller be? Well, I don't think it'll be anything as drastic as what Nintendo is doing with the Wii U controller. Now, the Wii U does have traditional controllers, but it does have this tablet controller, which basically is a tablet. It has a really nice big screen on it, and it has some controls on the side of it. I don't think Microsoft will go that far, but I think they will redesign the analog sticks a little bit. Hopefully, it can get similar to what the DualShock controller on the PlayStation 3 is. I love the analog sticks on that. And also, too, it, I think they may include some type of uh, LCD display um, in the front of the Xbox controller so it can show you some vital information battery life and things like that but it won't be anything as big as what the Wii U controller is and the next question comes from Devonjoy95. They asked me, why are these videos not in my sub box? This is an excellent question because a lot of people have had issues with YouTube where they're either being unsubscribed from people's uh, YouTube channels without even knowing and also too, they're just not getting all the, the videos that people are uploading that they are subscribed to. Now, one of the main culprits of this is a failure on YouTube's part to notify us. But if you go to the, your main YouTube homepage, and you probably notice this little checkbox that says show uploads only. Now, if you uncheck that or if that is unchecked, you'll see all the different things from the people that you're following so i just didn't comment it on a video that'll show up in my little feed right here instead of just a video that she's uploaded now that's one thing that i think most people know about but the other thing that a lot of people don't know about is this little drop down box right here by default is selected to highlights it's something they added a few weeks ago and now you need to select that on everything to be able to see all the videos that just your, your uh, the people that you subscribe to have uploaded if you're only on highlights it's only going to show a few of those so that's something that i don't understand why they did that at least let us know and notify the people of it but hopefully this will help fix people's issues that are not getting videos from people that they're subscribed to. I've got a good question here. I need a girlfriend, LOL. How do you get girls? This comes from Super Tech Media. Well, this is a very interesting question. The easy solution to this is to get an iPhone because it's well known that ladies love people with iPhones. I'm joking, of course. I'm joking. Am I? <laughs> but anyway, um, I, I honestly would say the best way to get a girl just to be yourself. Don't try to pretend to be anything. Everybody goes through that phase, especially all the men go through that phase. I did it when I was younger, trying to impress girls by you know, maybe by acting like you, you're something when you're really not. Uh, just be yourself. I think girls will be uh, definitely attracted to that. And also, too, just be honest. Tell the girls exactly what you want. If you're looking for a relationship, tell them that. If you're looking just for a one night thing, this is, of course, this is for my, my older viewers here. Uh, tell them that. You'll be, you'll be surprised how many women just want the truth. Some people are just looking for something really quick. Uh, this is going too deep <laughs> but anyway uh just be yourself and tell the truth to the ladies out there and then you'll definitely find somebody if it takes a little while don't worry the real one is or the right one is out there waiting for you somewhere b pat one asked the question if a turtle loses a shell is it homeless or naked i don't know it'll be dead right <laughs> And moving on to another question, this is, okay, so is Amazon Prime worth it? I like it a lot on my Kindle Fire, but if I had to choose between Prime and one-year Xbox Live, which do you think I should get? Well, that's two totally different things there, but, you know, because you got gaming, Xbox Live, you do want to game and play multiplayer with that and get updates and get uh, DLC content and all that stuff. Um, and then Amazon Prime is mostly for streaming videos and things like that. So, I, I mean, I can't really say which one you should choose between them, but I am a big fan of Amazon Prime. The number of reason why I'm a big fan, though, is because they're, like, free two-day shipping and they have one-day shipping 
shipping for $3.99 on a lot of different products. So if you buy a lot of stuff from Amazon, um, like I do, I would definitely recommend Amazon Prime, which I think is like $79 a year, but you get free two-day shipping and it just comes very fast uh, via UPS. So I like Amazon Prime. And Jay sub blah 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 um, asked me, hey Soldier Knows Best, I'm thinking of buying an Apple computer and I have no experience on buying one. Which one do you prefer? Um, well, if you're just getting getting into the Apple ecosystem, if you're looking to save, you know, save the most money as possible, you really just want to test it out. The Mac Mini would be the best one because that's the cheapest Mac that you can get. But I honestly would recommend um, since because once you go Mac, you don't go back. Of course, once you go black. But anyway, um, I would I would kind of recommend um, the MacBook Air for a laptop or, or the iMac if you're looking for the desktop. All right, guys. Well, that's all the questions I'm going to take for this particular Ask Soldier video. But before we head out, here's going to take one last look at our sponsor for this video. And today's sponsor is GoToMeeting, which is an awesome solution to solve the one problem when you need to meet up with a group of people to work on a project. So say you're in college and you have to work with some other students in your class on a project that's due the next day, which a lot of people do in college. GoToMeeting allows you to do all of this virtually. So you can just basically just set up a meeting and then you just email the people that you want to come or you just give them the, this little meeting number and they don't even need to have a GoToMeeting account. They just go to that, that group meeting's ID and then boom, there you go. And now you can actually show your desktop. So you can show your desktop. So if you're working on a, a project or you, you're writing an article you can actually allow them to see your screen to see what you're working on and you can also give people control of your screen and they can want to go in and take over and change things themselves and now with the new HD faces that they introduced you can use your webcam to have HD video streams from everybody in the meeting and it works flawlessly so see how easy go to meeting with HD faces is my viewers can try free for 30 days don't wait for the special offer visit go to meeting.com click on the try free button and use the promo code soldier again be sure to use the promo code soldier all right, again, guys, thanks for watching this video. Please leave your comment down below with your questions so hopefully you can make the next video. And thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you later. Peace.